All right, so as you can see here, the FCB1010 is a simple MIDI controller. Uh, when you turn it on, um, by default, you know, there's really nothing going on here. And so um, you can hold down this um, down button here for two and a half seconds, which will put you into this global configuration uh, mode. Uh, the biggest thing to check there is that direct select is not on. Uh, for the purposes of uh, this video, um, you know, we're going to walk through configuring each of these foot pedals here to do something different. And uh, in order to do that, I, I feel at least it works best uh, to have that direct select off. So I'm going to turn my unit off, turn it back on uh, into the global configuration so that you guys can see um, how it's set up here. Okay, so as you can see here, the global configuration is on. Um, we've got uh, the first option there, which is this direct select. And if you look um, just underneath the uh, number 10 foot switch here, you'll notice that the direct select is the option here for that. So with this number 10 switch not being lit up, this tells us that direct select is not uh, set up. Um, so you can page up or down to go through the set of options here. And if everything is all good, none of the pedals are on, um, with that being set, then uh, you can hold down the button here to get out of the global config. And you should see this zero zero up here, which refers to your bank. Um, so everything that I'm gonna be uh, walking through here is actually configuring the FC 10, 10, FCB 1010 um, on bank zero. If you wanted to go up and uh, configure any of these other banks, you certainly can do that. Um, but if you've got a question about, hey, what is a zero zero, uh, that's that's what's going on here. So um, what I'll do next is show you a picture of my um, layout for how I want this thing to be set up. As you can see here from bottom to top, um, what I wanted the FCV 1010 to do uh, is to basically enable snapshots one through three on my first three pedals. Uh, you can see four, nine, and five are configured to be the foot switch uh, one, two, and three, uh, which is equivalent to what you would see on the um, stomp itself. And then the six, seven, and eight switches are used to go between stomp mode, preset mode, and snapshot mode. I'll go into that in a little bit more. Uh, and as you can see there, number 10, I decided to just set as my tuner. Um, uh, depending on what mode you're in on the HX stomp, you would be able to get to your tap tempo and your tuner from there as well. Um, the big thing that I had mentioned was getting that HX stomp manual. And on page 49 here, uh, you'll see here over on the right hand side, you've got a list of CC numbers, um, the values to utilize uh, when programming your MIDI controller and what they relate to. Um, so as you can see here, kind of looking at my pedal board layout along with the controls, you can kind of get an idea here of, of um, maybe how things are going to be lined up. Um, but I'm going to walk you through kind of what I did for setting up snapshot one, uh, two, three, and so forth. And I'll show you how it uh, works on my HX stomp. Okay, so we're going to go through and program our FCB 1010. And first things first here, we're going to start off with Snapshot 1. So Snapshot 1, if you look at the HX Stomp manual, um, is, let's see here. Value number 69. So if you look in the additional controls, uh, you'll notice here that you've got snapshot select, and you can see 0 equals snapshot 1, 1 equals snapshot 2, 2 equals snapshot 3. And then if you really want to get fancy and utilize a couple of these extra pedals, you can do next snapshot or previous snapshot with numbers 8 and 9 respectively. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start off by programming pedal 1 to be my snapshot 1. So what we'll do here <clears throat> is we're going to go in, we're going to press on our 1 here. Now we're going to go ahead and hold this down. And what this is saying here is, okay, for pedal switch one, we're going to now program this thing. And you can see up here at the top that the switch one and two is kind of flashing. 
we're going to press the up button here to acknowledge or hit enter in a sense on the device. You can see here what I've got up next is I've got um, pedals 6, 8, and 9 lit up. And uh, what that means, uh, and in this sense here, I'll, I'll discuss kind of the expression pedal stuff and uh, pros and cons to it with uh, conjunction with the HX Stomp. But really what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say we want pedal switch one to have a CC code, right? That's what this is here. The CNT is your controller. That's what you, the, the controller that you wanna use um, to send a message to the unit. Eight and nine here are for expressions A and B if you can't read those. Um, I've got them set right now, um, and they are set to work. However, uh, limitation of the HX stomp is that in order to utilize your expression pedals through MIDI, you need to have a volume or expression block. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, the limitations of the stomp are such that you only have six blocks to work with. So uh, if you really want to utilize your expression and volume pedal here, uh, you're going to have to, you know, utilize one of the, the blocks that are available for those functions. So moving forward here, what we're going to do is I'm going to, uh, well, first off, if these are not lit up, what you need to do is hold them down, right? So here, this would be, um, I just removed that controller function for my pedal switch one. I'm going to hold down six. Now you see it's lit up. If I press it again, you'll see it flashing. And what that's telling me is, okay, I want to send and program my CC number here uh, to work with pedal switch one. So I'm going to hit the up button to say, sure, let's move forward. And as you can see here, we've got a number, and that number here is going to refer to the CC code uh, that lines up uh, within your HX stomp manual. And so as I mentioned here, the um, CC code for snapshot is 69. So you can just go ahead and press 6, 9, hit up to say okay. And now you'll notice here that the preset configuration value one is the next um, option that we can set. So I want this to be snapshot one. And so referring back to the HX stomp manual, what I'm gonna do here is leave this as zero, hit enter, and now we're good to go. We're back set. And so I'm gonna hold down down to get out of my configuration. Now I'm back to my main menu. You can see I've got my program switch one on. And for my HX stomp here, I suppose it would help if I actually had my device plugged in. Okay, so you can see here, I'm in snapshot mode already on my HX stomp. And you'll notice that snapshot one is already set up. So just to show you that this is actually configured and working, what I'm gonna do here is manually hit snapshot two, but now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna hit pedal one, and watch the HX stomp. Look at that magic. I've gone back to my uh, number one snapshot. So snapshots two and three are gonna be uh, configured the same exact way. And really what those will do then, uh, based on the value number that you put in, uh, that will set you up to either utilize snapshot two or three. So I've already got this configured. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you here that if I hit switch two, you'll see that I'm now on to um, my snapshot two on the device. And if I hit three, you'll notice that I'm on snapshot three. So again, I can go back to one and I'm good to go. All right, so that takes care of my snapshot setup. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is say, okay, well, that's great that I'm in snapshot mode up here, but maybe I wanna be able to use my foot switch devices to say, hey, um, I wanna be able to, uh, enable or disable um, some of my stomp functions. So to show you that here, um, I've, as I mentioned, six, seven, and eight are kind of configured for those. And um, what I'll do here just to kind of show you is I'm gonna hit six and you can see here that I've got nothing configured for this preset. Um, but nonetheless, by hitting switch six, I'm now back to my stomp mode. If I hit seven, this here will take me to my preset mode, which will allow me then to either hit uh, my foot switch one, two, or three to select either 39A, B, or C. Uh, so I'll go through now and uh, show you what was done to configure um, my different stomp modes. So again, we're gonna press six, and I'm gonna unplug this for right now just for the um, uh, sake of not messing anything up. Uh, 
maybe you guys know that maybe know more about this than me uh, will kind of balk at that but it is what it is for right now we're going through these demos here so um okay here we go so i've got pedal switch six selected i'm going to press down to get into the configuration mode for that switch you see here that preset is flashing i don't care about switch one or two I want to figure out what I want to configure. And so you can see here, none of the other uh, switches are toggled on. I again am setting my CC, so I want to send my controller uh, command through. So I would depress six in order to get that to be uh, illuminated. Press that again, you'll see it's flashing. And we go back to our preset config and we're going to hit enter. And now 71 is the one that's on there by default, referring back to the HX Stomp manual. Uh, you'll see that 71 is in fact the foot switch mode. And uh, you'll see that the value zero is stomp, one is scroll, two is preset, three is snapshot, four is next switch, and five is previous foot switch mode. Uh, so in this sense here, I went without scroll and basically set up stomp, preset, and snapshot. So for number six here, I did stomp mode. So 71 is the CC code that we want to submit. So we've already got 71 in there. So we're going to do that. Uh, stop mode is the mode that I have configured. So we're going to leave zero in there. We're going to hit OK. Now we're going to hold this down to get out of there. And now we're back to where we were. So if you look at the HX stomp here, I'm going to go ahead and press foot switch seven. And as I do that, then you'll see, OK, uh, this is going to go, oh, yeah, I guess it would help if I had my MIDI controller all set up there. Okay, now I've got my device uh, here and ready to roll. I'm going to press 8. This is going to put me into snapshot mode. 7 will get me back into preset. 6 here will get me back into stop model or stamp, stop mode. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm manually going to go to a preset that I know has some uh, stomp set. And you can see here that for the preset that I've got illuminated, um, I'm in uh, stomp mode as it is right now. And if I go ahead and hit 4, which I've already configured now for foot switch 1, you can see that that is now turned off. If I hit 9 for 2, you can see now 9 is turned off. And if I hit 5, Nothing's really happening because this is set for my tap tuner. So if I hold this down, you'll see I can get to my tune. If you were to have foot switch three set up as a, a different foot switch, you would then be able to toggle that on or off. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit foot switch four. You'll see that turn back on nine to turn on my foot switch two and we're good to go. So um, as I had mentioned, um, inside of the HX stomp here, We're looking at the um, block mode. And so going to and from here, you can see I've got things kind of set up. Um, if I wanted to utilize my expression pedals that I had set up for my snapshot mode, um, I would have to remove one of these blocks and replace that with a volume or you know an expression type block. Um, I wasn't cool with that idea. I think what I'll end up doing is probably just plugging in a volume pedal that I've got to control that so that I can utilize the rest of these pedals to the max and then um, be able to run with my six blocks as well. So um, I think that's it for now. Uh, if you've got any questions, please let me know. Uh, this really isn't that difficult once you get into it, but man, is this thing killer. Um, I'm now able to utilize my HX stomp as if it were a full-on functioning board, um, albeit it's got limitations, but for my needs, this will work. So...